Excuse the wet hair I just got out of the shower. Genesis chapter 6 Increasing Corruption on Earth When man began to multiply on the face of the land and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of man were attractive. And they took as their wives any they chose. And the Lord said, my, sh my spirit shall not abide in man forever, for he is flesh. His days shall be 120 years. Nephilim were on the earth on those days, and also afterward. When the sons of God came in to the daughters of man, and they bore children to them, these were the mighty men who were of old, the men of renown. The Lord saw that, that the wickedness of man was great in the earth that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord regretted that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him to his heart. So the Lord said, I will blot out man whom I have created from the face of the land, man and animals and creeping things and birds of the heavens, for I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Noah and the Flood these are the generations of Noah. Noah was a righteous man, blameless in his generation. Noah walked with God, and Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight, and the earth was filled with violence. And God saw the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted their way on the earth. And God said to Noah, I have determined to make an end of all flesh for the earth is filled with violence through them. Behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood, make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and out with pitch. This is how you are to make it. The length of the ark is 300 cubits, its breadth 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits. Make a roof for the ark and finish it to a cubit above and set the door of the ark on its side. Make it, make it with lower second and third decks. For behold, I will bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh in which is the breath of life under heaven. Everything that is on earth shall die, but I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall come into the ark, you, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives with you. And of every living thing of all flesh, you shall bring two of every sort into the ark to keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female, of the birds according to their kinds, and of the animals according to their kinds, of every creeping thing of the ground according to its kind. Two of every, short, two of every sort shall come into you to keep them alive. Also take with you every sort of food that is eaten, and store it up. It shall serve as food for you and for them. Noah did this. He did all that God commanded him. So here we can see how Noah had earned God's favor by being a righteous man, by being a man that walked with God. He was blameless in his generation. And so when God was going to destroy the earth and all living things within it, he made a covenant with Noah, and that's where the ark comes from. And on that ark, Noah brought two of every animal. We all know this, right? Like, we, like, even if you're not a Christian, you know this. So, in this story, I believe that it shows God's wrath, God's capacity to destroy, which is something that we as God-fearing people need to fear. That's something that we need to be concerned about. That's something that we need to try and not be a part of, essentially. Because God is good. God is really good. He's forgiving. He's kind. He's merciful. But at the same time, God's wrath is something to be feared. And in this story of Noah, we see how being righteous and being with God can make you be like, not necessarily immune, but like 
God can find favor in you when he's coming down to bring his wrath. It shows God's capacity to judge and to let those that he believes are righteous survive and do important work for our livelihood, like for us to be sustained, for life to be sustained. So yeah, I think that's everything I have to say about the story of Noah. Uh, but if you got any different sort of meaning from it, like go read the go read the chapter. Come back here. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you got out of it. Uh, let's start a discussion down in the comments. And that's everything I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is. Have a blessed day.